I'm Mike Warner Jr. It's time again for the Overthinkers Club. Today we're going to think about Emily Vanilli, a popular singing group, did some great songs, but that was why they thought we revealed that the two guys were lip syncing to the actual singers. It's considered a big controversy, and they even got their, their a, a ground war taken away from them because of it. But, but what the heck did they need to take away their Grammy? I mean, if somebody did some actual singing, even if it's not the people who we thought they were. I mean, could they just give the Grammy to the people who sang? I mean, what would have happened? I mean, I mean, if they kept the Grammy, would Miller Vanilli be, be relevant today? If Miller Vanilli was, was still relevant today, would, would more sing, pop singers be, be lip syncing in music? I mean, not, not kind of Ashley Simpson, but Ashley Simpson still relevant? I mean, if Ashley Simpson was still relevant today, would, would disco be relevant? Man, we were robbed of disco, weren't we? If disco was still relevant, does that mean that there wouldn't be any of those annoying teen idols like Justin Bieber and One Direction? I mean, we were robbed of a lot. If we didn't have teen idols, would we have a lot, a lot of older singers, a lot of younger singers, but no teen idols? If that was the case, would I be president of the United States? If I was president of the United States, would there still be an overthinkers club? If there, if there, there wasn't an overthinkers club, would we all die? Well, I guess the point I'm trying to make is that Mill Vanilli deserve their Grammy.